In this video we're going to take a look at runway speed and in particular speed over the last 10 meters. I've had a lot of questions on how do you know how far a jumper is going to jump dependent on the speed of those last 10 meters. So let's get into it. Now I use a free lap system to time the last 10 meters and in particular from 11 meters out to 1 meter out. Why one meter out? Well, you can, if you take off, jump over the beam of the free lap system and therefore not get a time. And also, a lot of measurements are taken by federations, colleges, universities, etc., over 11 to 1 meters. And if you can get a measurement, 5 meters to 1 meter. You're looking at some times from a run up session we did recently, just prior to the indoor season, and most of the male jumpers were achieving times around the one second mark for the 10 meters coming into the board. Now, you need to bear in mind that, that that speed will not be the same as a fly 10 meters. That's because you've got a position to hit the board and that is a requirement for this particular speed test for me as well. Velocity, yes, but accuracy. Now, this is my personal calculation, but you're probably looking at about five one thousandths of a second quicker over a fly 10 on the track as opposed to a fly 10 on the run up. So if you're running one second dead for 10 meters on the run up, you're probably going to run around about 0.95 for a fly on the track, everything else being equal. So to calculate jump distance, calculate in meters per second the speed over the last 10 meters so very simply if you're achieving a one second time for 10 meters that's 10 meters a second now elite male jumpers will take off round about 10.5 to 10.9 meters a second and that's going to give you jumps well over eight meters again everything else being equal for females the top exponents will be taking off around about 9.5, 9.6 potentially 9.7 meters a second, giving you distances between 6 meters 80 and 7 meters 20 and potentially further. Generally speaking, the greater the vertical velocity, also measured in meters per second, the higher the jumper will get off of the board and the slower they will take off at because obviously in order to impart more vertical velocity they're going to be on the board for a little bit longer than if they're going quicker across the board. So this brings up an issue with just purely focusing on horizontal velocity over 10 meters coming into the board as we need to take into account takeoff mechanics, eccentric ability to lift out of force at takeoff and vertical velocity. If you go to World Athletics Research Centre you're going to find a number of reports, biomechanical reports from various world championships and when it comes to the long jump you're going to get a lot of data. You're going to get step speeds, step lengths for example over the final three steps. You can do some calculations to work out 11 to 1 meters should you wish so then you can use that as a comparator against the speeds to which your jumpers are achieving. Now at this point you need to know your jumpers. You need to know their strengths and weaknesses and what makes them a good long jumper. Are they a speed based jumper? Do they get more vertical velocity at takeoff? What kind of combinations of factors do they bring to the event? Then you need to think well if they're running in, running in at 10 meters a second and off of say 14 to 16 steps they're jumping 7 meters then you're potentially looking at a jumper who can jump 740 to 750 off of their long run-ups everything else being equal. So we're going to use my long jumper Paul for example who's got a best of 7 meters 79. Recently he was clocking 1.01 .01 for the last 10 meters of the runway and this equates to near personal best speed velocity for him. So we know that everything else being equal that he should be jumping in the 750 plus regions when he goes to compete. If he ran 0.98 for example for the last 10 meters of the runway then we'd be looking at potentially personal best distances and beyond. So you've got to know your jumpers, their strengths and weaknesses, their optimum speeds for takeoff and measure that against their personal best and that's going to give you an idea of how far they will jump as will performances 
off of say 14 to 15 steps if their run up distance is 19 20 steps so those two measurements the speed and that longish approach jump distance will give you a good indication as to how far your jumpers were going to jump i was asked if there are any specific tables that can more systematically correlate speed to jump distance well i know of some old german research from probably 20 30 years back which does correlate 100 meter speed to jump distance and there is a plus or minus i think three percent correlation between the 100 meter time and jump distance and that again depends on landing distance the ability to extend on landing and takeoff ability i've personally found that research those speed correlations to be pretty accurate when it comes to jump distance and velocity horizontal velocity focus on those times and see where your jumpers or where you yourself compare calculating or estimating jump distance from last 10 meter speed on a run-up can be quite complex but i hope that i've shown you how you can do it through using your own coach's intuition and knowledge and your own testing and also by comparing your jumpers to elite jumpers and also more specifically from the German research that I've presented. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video or indeed any of my others then do leave a comment or question in the section below or through my other social media. And good luck with your training of course and in particular with any competitions that you've got coming up. I'm making this video in the height of the indoor season so I'll be showing you some of the performances of my jumpers over the forthcoming weeks and looking at how they've translated, in this case, horizontal speed into jump distance. If you like the Jumps Squad merchandise that I often wear in these videos, then do check out the Spring Store. You'll see the products available underneath this video, for example, and I've launched a new backpack rucksack with the Jump Squad logo on it. So do check that out.